new stuff happening with Fuji and that 40 megapixel sensor on the X-H2 that I'm waiting for. What about this guy? I know I talked about it on a few other videos and I am definitely want to talk about it on this one. Hopefully you guys like the images that came across. Those are all shot with the X100V. Uh, I have a specific preset I use when I shoot at night. If you want to know what that is, just let me know. I might just put it down in the, uh, in the uh, comment section or in the description of the video just so you can see it. And I do some further tweaking in Capture One to get it to my like and taste, you know, and so forth when it comes to the final images. But man, I thought, why, why not, not, why not when will they make the announcement about the X100V, X100V1 if you want to, to guess, get it to six and it have the 40 megapixel in it. If this camera had the 40 megapixel in it, with the fixed lens on it, they are definitely competing with the likes of Leica, with uh, the, uh, the Leica Q, I believe. I think that's full frame fixed lens. And I believe it's like in the 40 or 50 megapixel area. Um, I was really, 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 really happy with the files I got from the X-H2 that I had on loan for Fuji. It was a pre-production uh, model with uh, the most updated firmware and the images from off of it were fantastic. Um, I was able to shoot a number of things with it for the week I had and just was blown away by the images. And as you've seen on the reviews now since from other YouTubers, um, the quality of the camera is great and the images that that 40 megapixel sensor pushes off is fantastic. So I'm actually looking forward to um, seeing if that announcement is made and if, and I know there's some work that would need to go in, you know, they would have to work on that lens and make it, uh, to the point that it will be able to handle that sensor and, and, and resolve for it. Um, I can wait for that. I know there's a lot of excitement about the X-T5. There, uh, there's a lot of excitement above that filter, or excuse me, sensor going into the X-Pro4. Um, as far as the Fuji line that I would expect to see that sensor in, those two for sure, of course, um, and the X-100V. I don't know if I would want to see that in the XE4. Um, it's or if Fuji sees that as a the the camera at a level that should have that sensor. So I don't know if I would be too upset if it wasn't in an XE5. Um, and I definitely wouldn't be upset if I didn't see that in the next iteration, the XS10, which I'm filming on right now. I have the 18 to 120 on here. Um, and just to let everybody know, I do have a video coming up that I'm working on where I've taken this same combo out because of course my X-H2S is in repair uh, and did a kind of editorial fashion shoot with it. Got a lot of images and I'm gonna go through them and get a, get a video together to give you my thoughts and opinion on the 18 to 120. Uh, I already know how well the X-S10 works as a backup camera, if you will, to the the X-T4 or, or now for me, X-H2S line. It's a fantastic little camera, it's very capable. Uh, it's literally a, a, a surprise to me how well this camera was set up and how well you can use it. Um, but going back to my thoughts and opinions, yeah, if we can get this or if Fuji can start talking about this or Fuji rumors can start talking about what the expectations are of that 40 megapixel sensor landing in an X, 100 v1 or i um that would be fantastic that's the news i'm looking for so while i'm sitting here sulking over my um unfortunate mishap with my new camera and lens um i did want to you know bring this guys to this video to you guys and get your thoughts you know definitely hit the comments on what you think would happen how would the camera look would there be any changes in it uh, of course, we all want them to keep that same form, keep those dials, right? Keep those dials. Um, and I believe they would definitely do that on the X100 series because X, that's what it's all been about. And same profile, definitely would want to see them keep the flip screen. Uh, and if I have to say there's something I would love to see them bring back, believe it or not, I actually like the fact that it's clean on the back with the dial set up, but I do miss the circular cluster of uh, buttons. I would love to see that come back. And I don't know, other than that, I don't wanna see a more purchase on the thumb because I, I like the fact that the half case helps me with that and it keeps that profile in the back 
uh, a lot slimmer. Um, the X Pro 3 has a little bit more purchase on the back. It's nice, but it, it's not something I really kind of feel the presence of or not. It's more of the front purchase on these cameras when they're this thin. And uh, uh, yeah, as far as battery, yeah, I would like to see it get the more, you know, the bigger battery, but then you're talking about a bigger grip. Uh, as far as video capabilities, keep it the same. Um, I don't really care to have a X100 V1 with, you know, unlimited recording. I'm not using the camera really for that. Yeah, on this spot, impromptu recording is nice. Maybe a button up here, that might be nice, or the ability to change a button to a record uh, and, and be able to record on the spot and take turn it off and go back to shooting images. That would be great. So didn't want to make this video too long. Just wanted to give you guys my thoughts, my opinions on what I would like to see with that 40 megapixel sensor and the next camera. And for me, it's again, it's, I want to hear news about the X100 series getting that sensor more than the XT series or the X Pro series. So with that, you guys have a great rest of your day. I am working again on the video for this 18 to 120 and my thoughts and opinions on using it for photography. For video, I'm very happy with it. But I wanna give you guys my opinion on working a shoot and using it for photography and how I felt it did. So have a good one. See you guys on the next video.